What's up guys, it's grilling time once again. Today we got some pre-made food. Uh, sometimes I buy some pre-made food to cook on the charcoal just because it's easier and sometimes it's really good. Today we're cooking chicken grillers. Uh, chicken grillers are basically stuffed with jalapeno peppers, some kind of sauce or something, I don't know, wrapped in bacon, seasoned up really good. Uh, pre-made, they were actually on sale today for $2 a piece. And honestly, these are one of my favorite chicken grillers to have. We're also having asparagus and twice baked potatoes and some garlic rolls. So huh, you know what time it is. It's grilling time. <laughs> Guys, here we are at the prep station. Well, basically I bought all this stuff pre-made today. Uh, we have some chicken grillers. This one has jalapenos uh, stuffed inside of it, wrapped in bacon, seasoned with uh, red peppers and also cookies. This one is a three cheese, uh, mozzarella, American, all sorts of good cheese sprinkled with Parmesan cheese. Got some twice baked potatoes here. Uh, this one is a southern which basically means it has stuffed jalapeno peppers, and then we just have a regular one with cheddar. And we also have some rolls, which I'll be preparing once the food is a little closer to being done. And now we have some asparagus and bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap the asparagus with the bacon. Yeah. And I'll just take a toothpick holds together. Bam. Gonna go ahead and add some garlic salt. And of course some cookies. Perfect. Alright guys, we're waiting for the charcoal to get all nice and hot. I'm gonna go over and we're gonna do some grill quick tips. Just give you little tips on some grilling tricks. All right, welcome to It's Grilling Time Quick Tips. Here is just a uh, pan I picked up today at the Salva. It was 95 cents and it came with this break. Check it out. Really cool. Well, what are we gonna use this for? Well, we're not gonna use it today, but we can now lay bacon on here. I've always took bacon before. There's just some things that just don't work unless you have a pan and this thing is excellent. This I could also maybe put over some charcoal. If I was out camping, maybe just set it on the ground like that. Bada bang, bada boom. So that's It's Grilling Time's quick tip of the day. All right guys, the charcoal's not quite ready to go yet, but I'm just gonna clean it off and toss the potatoes on. The twice baked potatoes will need to cook for about a half an hour. I'm just gonna throw them right here on the top rack and give them about 10 minutes to cook and then I'm going to be throwing on the chicken shortly after. I'm just setting them right on the bottom. Sometimes you might have to reform them a little bit with your hand, but don't be scared to do that. Alright guys, we've got these uh, twice baked potatoes going here. They've been cooking for about, oh I don't know, 15 minutes or so, but it's time we throw these uh, chickens on here. These things are awesome. If uh, your supermarket or your grocery store doesn't carry these go ahead and show them this video and tell them they're really easy to make uh, go into detail more about how to make them but they're just excellent so I'm gonna cook these chickens about 10 minutes or so on each side so uh, let's jump back in the prep area and check out what we're gonna do with these biscuits huh? All right, guys there's not a whole lot I'm gonna do with these rolls I'm just basically making some garlic rolls I'm gonna be cutting X's in the top of these rolls just like this I'm just gonna take my finger and thumb, push it all the way down to the bottom, not breaking through the bottom. And once again, creating the magnificent flavor pockets. And then I got some melted garlic here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour them into the flavor pockets. Just like that and with the rest I'll just kind of drizzle it over the top of these rolls mm, it's looking so good and I have some garlic salt here I'll be sprinkling on the top and I'll also be adding some minced onion just real lightly 
on top. Perfect. All right guys, about five minutes till everything's done. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rolls. Everything is just smelling wonderful. And what I did with these rolls, after I poured that butter in there, I just went ahead and placed them in the fridge. You see that butter's kind of hardened up now, so that butter doesn't really gonna get them soggy or anything. Let's go ahead and place these on the top rack, or basically wherever I can get them. Out of the flame though out of the flame. I'll cook them for about five minutes. So let's do that and we'll see our final product. Alright guys, everything looks and smells absolutely delicious. You see these rolls got just the right amount of squeeze to them. Mmm, just perfect. Mmm. All right, go ahead and make these plates up. And there it is. Let's take a look inside this chicken, shall we? Ooh, it's just so juicy. Yeah. Crumbles fall out of there. Take a look in there. Mmm, it is just awesome. Let's open up the uh, three cheese. Mm, just perfect. Nice and juicy, nice and cheesy. All right. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time on It's Brewing Time.